Hey there, everyone. This is how Cal Blake Mario gives up three. <laughs> Hopefully, I won't have any name mistakes. Last time we completed World 2, which had a distinction of just, I don't know, man. It just kind of was. It was pretty small. It was in the corner. But now we're moving to World 3, which is the weird mushroomy forest place. And I don't know. It's looking a lot busier. A lot more stuff going on. Secret forest. There's a key involved. And everyone just cannot help but dance. So just go. Oh, jeez. Wow. <laughs> wow. That is a totem. Uh, spelling. Th wow. Uh, where that? Is that? <laughs> I never love. I, I never love Mar Mario's looking up graphic. It looks really silly. Honestly, Mario would probably look better if his face was more like that all the time. Oh, is that homemade? I think that totem looks super cool. That one, the color makes it look fleshy and super weird. Also, Dino Rhino, Lino, Final Lino, Bino Lino, Rhino Rhinos. Like, literally dinosaurs now. Literally like Triceratops going. It's like a piggy head, I guess? I don't know, I have... Whoa! The shell went just right through the extinct species. That is just not extinct enough for my current taste. Luckily, as a protagonist, I am uh, an agent of change. Uh, I don't know, although Mario is all more about the status quo than change, honestly. You can go in this one pipe. This one pipe? Oh yeah, you want to go inside like all day long. Because that's where you get the key from. And you can use the key to open doors, and open lockers, and open chest, and open stomach, and open operation, and open the phone book, and find a number, and open that number, and, and then wonder, well, who the hell, why why do phone books are even still a thing? If more and more people are using now cellular phones that are not listed in the phone book. Is our phone, like, I know phone books are still a thing, but... I wonder how much of a thing, I guess. You can go on this one pipe also. It's pretty cool because that's where our last dragon coin is and a smile and a lock. So if you want to get the secrets, all you gotta do is go in the occasional pipe. Then a whole giant mushroom will disappear and it's kind of sad, I don't know. Mario ain't care much about the ecology, yo. Now, in order to do normal exit, uh, I never noticed how giant the fireballs on the screen seem to be. But I don't know if it's just an illusion to the fact they're like super bright yellow on a really deep, deep green graphic. I don't know, maybe. It's it's a possibility. The possibilities are possible. So, in this, in this core, in this run, in this meal, uh, we're just gonna go forward. We're not gonna go into any pipes. We're just gonna explore forward and see all the fun activities we may have missed. Like, Pin the porcupine on a porta potty. Like that's a really fun activity, uh, depending on where you stand on that social strata. And then other activities in the courtyard include, you know, wasting the jury's time by telling stories about the time you played skipping rope using a raccoon, which is really hard to do because they're not like long at all. They're really short, stubby creatures. Uh, so either it says something weird about your own physiognomy or about the extent that you're willing to go into animal cruelty in order to just kind of distract yourself a little. By the way, <laughs> the return of off the edge of the screen uh, generators, I don't miss those at all. <laughs> it's hunting season, you see. And unfortunately, oh no, I don't have a duck around that I can uh, make the hunters try to shoot instead of me. Although maybe if I wasn't dressed up like a duck, I wouldn't be having this problem right now. But that's just how the way things go. Wooden stakes, they rise, they fall, and they find a new home and a new place where the walls were freshly painted with lead paint based paint. Eh. <laughs> yeah, paint is based on paint. It's recycled paint. So there's like double the lead for double the smarts. Man, now we got a choice. I, I am curious. I don't want to mess around with illusions, but I'm curious about where the secret path wants us to go. Now, the title there promises to be warping about the scream, so I think I know what's gonna happen here. So it's touching lava deadly. I'm not gonna test it because science is of the devil 
and I'm here to prove it. Uh, okay, you know what? If this is the kind of shenanigans we're on about, sign me in! Not sign me in for green springy thing. Another thing I don't miss. Oh no, this is the part where reality gets back, back, brought, brought back in. And you didn't even have the deets of these. Ah! Okay, first of all, like half the instrument were missing from the deaths jingle. And two, that wasn't rap around. That was warp around. <laughs> There's a distinction here. <laughs> that that turtle, it it it, whoa, it did magic there. It's just like at some point it was in an area. And then add another area. Okay, yeah, see, okay, I'm used to a bit smoother of a transition over here. Here it's just like really zappo, like it's like zap, 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 warp, zap. Okay, that's fine. Just means that we need to expect it and take that into consideration. This is what happens, you know, when, uh, whoa, something is added in and is not necessarily a native element of the element you're playing around with. Where's the truth about whoa grain coffee? I have no idea. You can go in this pipe though. It's full with juice and cavities and lava that will rise. No, no. Instead, it's Swiss cheese. Except it doesn't have any holes, so it's like it's not even good. The good kind. I don't know. I, I, I as a non-cheese fischiato. I don't know if people are like thrilled when their cheese is full of hole. I don't know if it improves the flavor, like because the air cir circulation is better. Like maybe if if there's more place for air, there's more place for flavor. Is that is that how it works? Man, so this game treats feathers like a big deal type of power up, where you gotta go gotta go really out of your way, and I can respect that because honestly, the feather is kind of a big deal. Cyphermer knows what up. Okay, there's a there's a platform I I didn't see at first glance right here, because so I was like, wait, I can't do that. You can you can't do that, bonsai bill. Oh no, the calamity of a thousand stars erupting on themselves. That's probably like as worse than what just happened now. But details. Whoops! I'm afraid of the warp now. <laughs> the warp like transition of the transition. It's making me real, real, real awkward around girls during prom. So I can blame all of my s social failings on this game, right? That's how it works. This is, uh, yeah, this is happening. And it's still hap- what's that, yin-yang? Okay. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> By finding the balance in my, in my chi. I have uh, formed a portal to the middle ground. It's pretty cool. Okay, what's going on here? We're still going on all up. That looks a lot smoother. Uh, I'm gonna let's let's see here. No, no, okay, no, it's still warm. Maybe it was just because it was like that bullet. Okay, <laughs> so that was not that. That bullet is flashing. It turns out there's further meaning, and it's not just exciting because it's flashing. I was ready to be excited just because of the flashing colors too. I was, just, I was ready, man. So okay, they explode when they touch a thing. Got it, got it. So as long as they go, okay, but except the but wall boob. Even when they touch each other. All right, okay. I have to pick a choice, and I took the right choice. That's the end of that anecdote. Hooray! Uh, all right. I think that with these, really, the joke is just like get, just get. Like let it fire one bullet, you'll be fine. I don't know anymore. Okay, so they don't explode uh, by hitting each other. Interesting knowledge to glean from uh, the frightened, sweat-covered face of my enemies. And suddenly we're at the end. I have no idea where the two dragon coins I can get are, even. And the band is having problems. <laughs> Which is again why I'm not hunting them down. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll get them if I get them, but... That level was really neat. Like, just kind of gotta get used to a few things here and there. But no, like, like I, I, I find pretty neat, because no... The thing with Super Mario World hacking and stuff is that people are used to a lot of the gimmicks. So you can't just present the gimmick and that's done. 
you gotta use it. You gotta do something with it. And then there's Fortress One. That 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 as a level name doesn't say a whole lot. <laughs> Fire bars, a castle, and a running spike all around. I don't know. How can I go through? The okay, that's how those physics works. That's right. Swinging mace and prickly spikes. Oh, it's a remix. Remastered edition. Get the dictionary, son. It's time to get cooking. Oh, Thwimp. Oh, man, it's been a while since I saw you. Oh, there might be goodies up there. Let's check it out. Like, since we're at the beginning of the level, and there's, like, nothing really dangerous as of yet, let's just... Let's just take a detour and get hit by a pendulum. That's what... Okay, I was about to say, I didn't gain anything from this. Except this block! A mysterious block! Empty and devoid of consciousness. What a scary thing to not really- Potabo! Look at that scrappy little brat. Just jumping right out of the lava, doing that whole peekaboo routine, even though it is clearly a teenager at this point. What are you doing? But, you know, we have gained important knowledge, such as there's a block there, and there's a block. It's really cool, because it's like, bop, 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 here comes the block. I enjoy, whoa, driving a car, but only at night with my headlights off. That silly block, always causing problems for society. Ugh, where'd my platform go? Don't scare me, man. Yeah, Potabo's not super regular sometimes, but only, I'll swear. Fire bars, I don't recall them being so dang quick. <laughs> Those are some speedy fireball -y. Like, I don't know. There's a pipe up there. Um, good for. God damn it. Yeah, no, yeah. Potabo's too are going. They're the beat is faster than I'm used to. You do, look at me. Uh, I'm not interested in purchasing m motor snowmobiles. I want to go up there, or do I want to go here? I, I, I don't know, let's go up here. It's a bit more of a hassle to get to. So that's probably more cost effective. I don't know, maybe there's a power up some of these. I'm glad I have a switch pressed. I don't know what's going on though. Alright, so that was just a little split in the path. Well, I lost. Oh no, I am so sad. It looks like I'm gonna have to go here. Uh, what is... Okay, so there's Dodd the Block. Oh, the irregularity of the Potabos are stressing me out. Stop it, please. Wait a sec, I'm an idiot. I was supposed to use that block to go in that pipe over there that I didn't go into. Like this one. That's why you bring pipe around. So you can go in the gray zone. I'm so lucky, everyone wants to visit the gray zone. There's a happy coin. That's your meaning. Okay. <laughs> I found the happy coin. Woe is me. I don't know what I'm doing here, but I'm supposed that it's all right. Cause now I can press the switch. Okay, that's how it works. It's not, yeah, it's not, it's not next cause you don't want to touch it. It's next cause say, Yo, physics, I guess. I'm not I'm not too sure about that even. But here we go. Wait, is there anything over there? Hard to tell. I don't know, there's spikes and nuts. That's that's nuts, man. Why would I wanna go there? Oh man, behind the railing! Oh no, there's moon there. By the way. It's kinda it's kinda far. It's kinda not at all in the directions that I am going. Skeleton walking down the stairs! Now that's what I call art. Uh, Potabos though, that's like, that's not art at all. It's like a comb that you find underneath your waste basket. It's not art under any definition at all. It's just garbage that you find where garbage tends to be. 
It's like even a full of- Oh, that's a fast Tresnor! <laughs> Don't be in such a hurry, dude! Seize the day! Carpe diem, you know? Let's roll to the Toho music, also playing along to make you pretend like this guy is exciting to fight. Which I mean, you almost succeeded, to be perfectly honest. I was like, whoa, Carnival Night Zone, let's go, let's have a party, I've got all the snacks, but gotta mellow out here. I am a little curious, and I, oh, okay, so I guess this was all a big shortcut. Like, this seriously looks like there might be a mid Like, I don't know if the path under the pipe is supposed to come from the fortress, or from the castle. And I am curious about that other yellow pipe that I could have used uh, a block with, so I'm gonna check that out. here let's check this part out wow look at all these things that are exciting that I missed <laughs> truly the dawn of a new age here <laughs> I figured once like as soon as I saw that you're going up these yellow blocks things like I figured oh so there are power-ups in some of these well 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 look at fancy Nancy here doing mince meat with the fancy ways uh, good for you I suppose Music's kind of losing out of control here. So what do we find in this uncultured zone place? So another midpoint, and it leads back here. Except, okay, what? <laughs> what? What did I gain from that? Can you go back or something? Well, I mean, I guess now I have to play this here. Might as well check it out, but that was weird. <laughs> Is there a switch somewhere you can find? And now, yeah, and I'm just back here. This is... I don't understand what I'm seeing here. There's more to this castle, but I have no idea what it is. Because <laughs> um, I went through all the paths, really. Unless there's a switch somewhere that I haven't really found. I'm gonna leave this to here for now. Maybe the game will give us more, like, confirmation that there's something to be found here? Or maybe I just missed something really obvious? I'm not sure. I'm gonna leave it there for now. If anyone have any ideas, uh, do point it out. Maybe there's something worth uh, checking out. Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of honestly a little bit curious. But it's just... Like, I went through the passageways that were shown to me.